So you spending time talking about these things with a potential client is exactly what, say, a real estate agent is spending time with a potential buyer showing the house. They're not making money, but they're taking time out of their day for showings. Right. So that'd be the equivalent. For the most part. Would you say someone who but wants they're, to- But they're still selling themselves. You know, I'm not necessarily, I'm selling you on what you could potentially succeed in or what you could potentially do. So I'm educating you versus a real estate agent is, is selling themselves. So that's interesting. So how much of what you do has to do with, you, you have to, on, to some degree, sell yourself because if it's not you, it's the next guy. I told you before, right. I don't know anything about these things and I inevitably will hire I don't see myself not having, I don't see myself ever doing all these things myself. I just don't. And I don't mind admitting that. I don't think it's a fault. I think it's a strength to say that's not my area of expertise. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, source that out. Right. So if it's not you, it's the next guy. And if it's not the next guy, it's the next guy. On some level, if you want you to be the guy, you have to somewhat sell yourself. I've never been, I've been in sales. You know, I've done that whole thing. I've never been good at the salesy mentality. I'll, my client gave me a story today. He's trying to buy a boat and the the <clears throat> boat was listed. My client loved it, wanted, wanted to buy it. Hey, you know, let's, I'll do it. Let's close the deal. You know, it's done. The next day, the guy says he was a broker of the boat. He's like, oh, the, the seller sold it, but here's two more. I can't do that. Cause to me, that's the bait and switch. That's me lying to the client. That's yeah. me being a jackass. And, and I can't do that. And that's what sales people do. You know, they, they might burn a bridge, but they, you know, gain five more type of thing. And I'm more so of, you know, my word is my bond. I, I try and do my best. You know, I, I teach you, I give you all the information that I can. If it doesn't work out because you don't like my personality or we don't mesh or, or things like that, so be it. I can't change that. What you see is what you get. Mm. So I've never been good at the salesman. I'm going to tell you what I know teach you, show you what I can do. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So you believe that it's it's really the good sense in someone working with you that will ultimately sell itself. Right. The yeah. the, the information that I'm able to provide, the you know, my personality, my my thought process, because for, for a lot of investing, you, it has to mesh. Like my thinking has to meet uh, similar to your thing. Right. Um, so beyond that, it's, I'm not going to try and, you know, push something, you know, I, I, it's all the time. I, I actually push clients back. It's like, it's, it's not, it's not urgent. It doesn't have to happen right now. Um, there's nothing in finance that has to happen today. You know, if you're buying stocks, things like that potentially, but again, you could be wrong, you know, so there in finance, nothing has to happen today. Look at inflation. Inflation's at 7%. But just because you have cash right now, it's not going to degrade that cash so much to rush it into some type of investment or rush it into something because you're afraid that you're going to lose out to inflation. There's always something that can come down that can make up for that type of deal. So it's there, there's never a has to happen right now type of mentality in finance.